Welcome to Form Drilling Engineering. A roller cone bit is driven by the rotation of the drill string. The cones roll off on the bottom of the borehole and the spiky insides destroy the rock. The torque required to rotate this bit on the bottom depends on the weight which is applied on the bit. If the bit is put off bottom, you don't need any torque to rotate it. If you run it slightly on bottom, just a little torque is needed. But if you press it hard on the bottom of the borehole so that it drills pretty fast, then of course you need much more torque to rotate it. That's what we see here in this diagram. The relationship between the weight on the bit and the resulting torque results in a straight line. The slope of this line is called bit aggressiveness. In the formula here behind me, the bit aggressiveness is denoted as an A. The weight on bit multiplied by A multiplied by the bit diameter results in the torque on the bit. In the field, we don't just have roller cone bits. We also have the so-called PDC bits. These bits rotate on the bottom of the borehole, but they do not have any moving parts. Rather, they scrape off the rock with the little diamonds on the sides of the bit. If we do the same experiment as before, that is bit lifted off bottom and then press the little and then press hard on the bottom of the borehole, again we see all the measuring points on a straight line in the diagram. But now the slope of the line is much steeper. That means that the diamond bit is much more aggressive than the roller cone bit shown before. As a young engineer, I did a lot of measurements on drilling rings. I found out that most roller cone bits have an aggressiveness of about 0.05. And the aggressiveness of the PDC bits, depending on the design, usually ranges between 0.2 and 0.4. That means a roller cone bit is significantly less aggressive. And less aggressive means you can drill pretty smoothly with such a bit. In practice, it will never be possible to have a perfect constant weight on bit. In fact, we always have some unavoidable fluctuation. But if our drill bit has low aggressiveness, then the fluctuations will only result in very small fluctuations of the torque. And that means that the entire drill string rotates evenly with a constant string RPM. With a PDC bit, the situation is a bit different. If we assume we have to deal with the same unavoidable weight on bit fluctuations, then we clearly see in this diagram that there will be much higher level of fluctuations. And that means the entire drilling process is a bit more bumpy. However, with a PDC bit, you can drill much faster compared to a roller cone bit. This can easily be explained by this formula here. You can see here that the mechanical power P of the drill bit depends on the drill bit speed N and the torque on the bit M. And since we can operate a PTC bit with a much higher torque, it will generate more power and therefore drill more faster than a roller cone bit. PTC bits can also withstand higher bit speeds which generates even more power at the bit, and they have a longer lifetime. This is the reason why PTC bits have become the most popular drill bits in the industry. So, you learn this and so many other things about drill bits in our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, and we'll be happy to see you in Freiburg. Look off.